Okay, now many of you know that I, pref I prefer to be called just by my first name. Um, I, don't, I, I don't really prefer to be called, you know, Pastor Tay, Pastor Victor, or Bishop Tay, Bishop Victor. I know you guys sometimes call, that, call me that just for fun. And you know, I don't really mind. I'm not going to be upset at you, if, if upset at anybody if they refer to me that way. But, you know, I prefer just to be called by my first name. And it's not just really just a preference of culture, even though the culture that we, we have in Australia and even the culture in a lot of uh, Asian families is that you, you, you generally you want to feel closer to somebody. You wouldn't call somebody by a title. They might say, oh, you know, call them auntie and, auntie and uncle. But the whole idea of calling somebody auntie so-and-so and uncle so-and-so is because you're trying to be part of their family. You're trying to be closer. So even though, you know, just in my own, my own personal opinion, apart from the Word of God, you know, I prefer to just be called by my first name because I feel as though if you call me Pastor Victor or if you call me, you know, Bishop Tay or whatever, I, I feel that I'm being lifted up above you. Um, and and I, want to, I want to, you know, I want to be on your same level. You know, I know I have authority, but I don't need to be on this ivory tower above everybody. But the reason why I prefer not to be called Pastor Tay or Pastor Victor is because, I, you know, at the end of the day, I like to do things the way I see it in the Bible. You know, and isn't that how should we do everything? I like to do things the way that I see it in the Bible. And to be honest, I don't see any precedence at all in the New Testament of calling church authority by a title. So calling somebody bishop so-and-so, pastor so-and-so, deacon so-and-so, evangelist so-and-so. I mean, there isn't any precedence at all. You can't point to any scripture in the New Testament which even shows that this is how people refer to authority or even how they refer to each other that way. And I just want to show you a couple of verses there. I'd say the only, way, only thing you can see in the Bible where people are referred to by a title are the kings, King Saul, King David. That's the only things I could find. If you can find others, uh, uh, let me know. But uh, just let me show you a couple of verses real quick on this point. Because I know you guys th know that this is my preference, and I just wanted to explain my reasoning behind why that's my preference. Uh, this is one passage where Peter is referring to Paul, and he says, An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written, unto you. Now I know sometimes in the local church we refer to each other as brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so. I honestly think that comes from American tradition. I don't think it's something that they necessarily got from the Bible. I mean this is probably the only verse you can find where brother and name is put together and that's how we call people as opposed to just saying that they are our brother and our sister. Yeah, they are our brother and our sister but does that mean we need to call them brother so-and-so? I don't have a problem with it I'm just saying that's, I'm just trying to show you that it's a tradition that is passed down. You don't need to feel that if you don't do it, you're somehow sinning or going against God's word. And you might say, well, isn't that verse using it in that sense? It's saying, even as our beloved brother, Paul. Well, I don't even know if this verse is really calling him brother Paul or more saying that he's our beloved brother named Paul. You know, so you could, you could read that verse two different ways and, and maybe there's no comma there, so you could say, oh, it is Brother Paul. But then brother is not capitalized, so that's, you know, it's not really his name. Unlike John the Baptist, I believe Baptist is capitalized. So um, anyway, so that, that's Peter referring to Paul, saying Brother Paul, but he could just be saying that Paul is our beloved brother, as, supposing him, as opposed to giving him the title of Brother Paul, all one, one phrase. Um, now look here in 1 Peter 5, it says here, In the elders which are among you, so we already talked about these being the bishops, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. So this verse shows that Peter the apostle was an elder as well in a church. He was a bishop of, of a local church. Paul was not a bishop. Paul was an apostle, so he had the authority to ordain bishops, but he, you know, he traveled around and um, wasn't uh, an authority in a, in a certain local body like Peter was. And if we see in 2 John, it says here, The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. So John, not only in 2 John, but also in 3 John, refers to himself as the elder. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. 
But look here in Galatians 2.9 when Paul is referring to um, his encounter at the Galatian church in um, uh, Galatians 2, he says here, And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward to do. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. But then when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. Now what do you notice here in this story that he's recounting? Is he's referring to everybody by their first name. He's not saying, and when Pastor James and Pastor Cephas and Pastor John, uh, who seemed to be pillars, and he said, when, and when, when Peter was come to Antioch, so he's not saying when Pastor Peter was come to Antioch, he doesn't refer to them by their title, he's just referring to them by their first name, and this is how they referred to one another. This is, I think, the, the example we see in the Bible. So the apostles didn't even refer to each other by title. Why would we refer to them by their title? And, you know, we even think of them, we will say things like, uh, the Apostle Paul, you know, and, and what we mean by that, it's Paul the Apostle, but the Apostle Paul, that phrase is never found in the Bible, it's just Paul and Apostle, um, Paul the Apostle and the Apostles and whatnot, um, as, as far as I can tell. Um, but you may say, well, you know, what about in, uh, you know, 2 John and in 3 John, where John, he refers to himself as the elder, and he says, the elder unto the well-beloved Gaius. It doesn't that give us a precedence to call people pastor or call people by a title? Well, number one, it's not somebody else referring to him. He's referring to himself, and he could just be identifying himself, saying the elder, just like Paul did. You know, Paul said, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, and things like that. Did, does that mean that he's insisting that um, people call him by the title, Apostle Paul or John. Did he want to be called Elder John? You know, like the Mormons do. <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't want to in this day and age. He wouldn't want to be thought of as a Mormon. But, um, you know, I don't think that's what he's insisting, to be called Elder John. He's just saying that he was an elder, just like Paul was saying he was an apostle, just noting to them his office. So, you know, I, you know I, 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 it's, it's not honestly a big issue, but... You know, it's just because it's something different. I just like to explain to you guys my reasoning behind it. But, you know, do I have a problem with somebody, somebody wanting to be called by a title? No. If somebody wants to be called by a title, then they can do, they can be called by whatever they want. They can give themselves whatever title they want. Um, you know, so I don't have a problem with somebody wanting to be called by a title. Um, I don't have a problem with somebody, uh, I don't have a problem with calling somebody by a title if that's what they prefer. Like if, so, if, if there's a bishop of a church and he prefers to be called pastor so-and-so or you know bishop so-and-so or there's an evangelist or a you know, traveling preacher that wants to be called evangelist so-and-so and, and i know that if i don't call him pastor so-and-so he's going to get upset hey i'm happy to concede and just respect his opinion and just call him by the name he wants to be called it's like if you had a name like let's say like timothy and let's say he grows up and he prefers to be called tim and and then you keep calling him timothy you know that gets on his nerves i mean that's not really being very loving, is it? If you're calling him something that you know uh, like irks him the wrong way, you just call him by the name that he prefers, uh, which is Tim. And that's how I kind of do things in my family. You know, I, I tend to, with my children, you know, I don't mind if my children call people by their first name as long as they're okay with it. So what I teach my children is, you know, with, with people in authority, uh, people that are older than them, um, what I'm going to teach them is, you know, you ask them how they want to be addressed and you address them that way. Um, you know, rather than just giving them one blanket way of addressing everyone. Because the reason why I decided to do it that way is because, um, you know, let's say, for example, in Asian culture, you may teach your children to call everyone auntie so-and-so, uncle so-and-so. But then there are some ladies that may not want to be called auntie so-and-so because they don't want to be called, like, they don't want to be the older, they want to be on the same level. So I just thought it was it's safer that way. I just, we, we just ask them, hey, how do you want my children to address you? And then I'll teach my children to address them that way. And then it'll just become their name, right? It's like, like with my dad. Like he wants my children to call him Gong Gong, which is, with, which is grandpa in, in, in Chinese. So now they just know his name is Gong Gong. So that, that, that's how I plan to do it in my family. But um, that's the reasoning behind that. So I don't have a problem with calling somebody by a title. That's their preference. And I'll respect their opinion. 
uh, if it isn't a sin, if it's not a commandment, I'm breaking the Bible. Um, but do I have a problem with someone claiming that titles are biblical? Yes, I do have a problem with that. Because, you know, in, just in general, I have a problem with people preaching their opinions and, you know, their preferences as commandments and doctrines. Um, so that's why I have a problem with it, because I have a problem with people taking their opinions and imposing them as commandments of God. So I do have a, pr a problem with somebody uh, insisting that it is biblical when it's not. 